afternoon off. Here we have an AC Tech inverter drive, and its model number is MH4400B. Now, the customer didn't tell us what's wrong with it, so we're going to check the power devices with a digital multimeter and then power it up to see what we find. Let's go ahead and do that. Now before we fire this up, I want to make sure that there's no shorted devices, three phase bridge or IGBT power module. I got my meter set to diode test mode. Now here in the middle is the three phase bridge and over here is L1, L2, L3. This is where the line comes in. Over here is T1, T2, T3. That goes out to the motor. Now, notice on this AC Tech, and this is the way it is on most of the, the AC Techs I've worked on. The motor's on the left side and the line's on the right side. So be very careful. Most drives, the line is on the left side and the motor's on the right side. Don't hook this up backwards. You don't want to get the line applied to the IGBT, it will destroy this drive. So, line, motor, three phase bridge in the middle. The uh, AC1, AC2, AC3 connects to L1, L2, and L3. Here is the three phase bridge positive side, and here is the ground side, the negative side. Now, I'm reaching around and over to try not to get in the way of that meter. Let's put our black lead on three phase bridge plus, and we'll go to L1. There's a good diode drop of 0.434. Here's L2 with the red lead. Red lead on L1, L2, and L3. Black lead on three phase bridge plus. There's 0.414 volt diode drop. Here's red lead on L3, 0.428. Leave your black lead on three phase bridge plus, and we'll go to the motor. You know there with the red lead on T1, you got 0.374, T2, 0.375 volt diode drop, that's good. 0.374 volt diode drop, that's good. Now that's high side on everybody. Now take your red lead, let me get untangled here. Got my leads all tangled up. There we go, I think that'll be good enough. Now take your red lead and put that on three phase bridge minus terminal. Let me get around this side. Am I in the way? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. Red lead on the minus terminal of the three phase bridge or the N. This might be labeled P and that might be labeled N on your drive. Black lead on L1. There we have good diode voltage drop of 0.433 black lead to L2 0.437 volt diode drop 0.438 volt diode drop on L3 the three phase bridge is good now let's go to the IGBT leave your red lead on the minus terminal of the three phase bridge put your black lead on T1 0.379 volt diode drop. T2, 0 0.380 volt diode drop. That's good. T3, 0 0.380 volt diode drop. The three phase bridge and the IGBT is good. Now, we're going to fire up this drive. <laughs> Hope it don't go bang on us. <laughs> we'll find out in a little bit. But nobody's shorted, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We'll look at the 
data plate and let's see what line voltage needs to be applied to this drive. Now you're seeing it sideways and I'm looking at it correctly. <laughs> Input voltage 400 to 480. Output voltage 0 to 400 or 0 to 460. So we're going to take and we're going to apply 460 volts AC three phase to L1, L2, and L3. Give me a little bit to get that hooked up and we'll see what she does. Now, I like to cover up drives when I power them up for the first time. That way if things go badly, this cover right here will contain the explosion. <laughs> okay. uh, let me move this back. I've got the line voltage attached to L1, L2, and L3. Line voltage being 460 volts AC three phase. Here we go. Let's fire it up. I didn't hear the pre-charge relays energize. There we go. We're up. That took a long time. Huh. I wonder why it took so long to come up. It's out of the way, so you can look see what's going on. It says R stop, 0 0.50 hertz, 0% load, and we're on auto. And down here we've got the two red LEDs indicating that these bus capacitors are charged up. It sure did take a long time to come up though. I wonder if we got a power supply going out. try to run this. We'll run a motor on that. Take a look at the motor waveforms on T1, T2, T3. It's getting late here. It's time to go home. We gotta shut everything down. See you in the morning. <laughs> we'll jump back at it. Have a good night. <laughs>